Okay, so getting your colors done and what does that process look like? What is it like? What does it require? What do they look for? All these things. So I did a vlog on me getting my color analyzed. This was done in 2020. I mentioned it in my feminine sweaters video and you guys said you wanted to see it. So I put it together and here is the vlog. No, I'm also going to like interject moments like this where I'm kind of explaining what's going on because I was using my phone and I didn't really have that much space on it so it kept getting cut off so um, I'm going to inject moments like this in between some of the clips just so that you can get the full understanding of what like a color analysis process is like or what is it what it is about This is the main chart, okay. giving them four seasons with the, um, actually the 20, 12 seasons mm -hmm. and instead of four because the undertones oh, yeah. are drawn in with 12 seasons. Okay. And I have a feeling you're going to be here. In winter? Pulling in here with, I, the, with the undertone. So I did some, like I, I started Googling about color analysis. Yes. And from what I Googled, I assumed that it was awesome. I don't session. think... I think you're here. Okay. Start from the beginning sure. and explain why. Yeah. Winters and springs have a piercing eye. Mm. Um, this is a piercing eye. And that what's making me think that you're here is because of the strength of your eye. Okay. That's the most important thing. Okay. Then the second is the undertone in the skin. Okay. Usually with with a strong eye, it's usually a blue undertone. This is a gold undertone. Okay. In order to wear that t shirt, you, your undertone would have to be gold. Gold. So. It, but I don't believe that's right. And okay. we're gonna we'll see if I right. know what Which I'm talking about. Which is why I'm here. This is why I'm <laughs> here. Okay, so, so, she's about so they're both piercing eyes. Okay. Um, and here's a here's another piercing eye. That's yes. a girl from Af Afghanistan. Oh, wow, she's gorgeous. And um, summers and autumns mm -hmm. have a soft eye. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you can fall into the eye, just like mm -hmm. uh, landing on two velvet pillows. Uh, and your eye is piercing. Piercing. There's, I can't get into your eye. You can't pierce. This eye is piercing. You can't fall into my eye. Mm. That puts me in spring. So you're a spring. I'm a spring. Oh, uh, if you put this right color on a summer, even though she has blue undertones, yes. it will overwhelm her so that the dress will be wearing her instead of she wearing the dress. Right. Mm. And you can see the, how that uh, that pertains to here. See how clear and bright? These are too clear and bright for uh, someone that's autumn that has a softer eye. How clear and bright those colors are? Yeah. Do you see how they're getting muted and softened over here? Yeah. Up here it's easier. Can you see how clear and bright those colors are? Yeah. Do you see how they're starting to get muted and muddied? Right. softened because this eye so the first thing that my color analysis did when i went there was to look at my eyes she looked to see if my eyes were clear or piercing or if it was soft this how your eyes are determines your color season so the seasons that are clear is winter and spring and the seasons that are soft are autumn and summer 
they they divide the colors into seasons in a way that kind of just resemble what it's like in the season so like of course autumn you have a lot of earth tones and like what like the leaves look like when it's changing colors so instead of it being like a bright blue red it's a auburn red it's a natural nature red and the green is muted and soft and stuff like that as opposed to like a spring green which would kind of have more of like a neonish color because that would be like what the fresh buds would look like when it's at the beginning stages of being bloomed you can even see the difference in that those clips in the vlog from my, my intro where i was just in my sandy top and i was wearing gold earrings and then to when i was heading out and i had on my black stole around my neck i just looked better than i did when I was just had on the sandy top. Four seasons, then they uh, added the undertone so that now you can be like, if you're a winter, you could pull in spring or you could pull in autumn. Okay. So that makes it 12 seasons mm -hmm. instead. Okay. At this point, uh, we were getting ready to um, test the color seasons against my face. And so she placed this white cape on me to neutralize the base so that um whatever i am wearing doesn't interfere with determining whether a season suits my skin or not so that's what the white cape is for we're going to start with jewelry okay winters and summers that's the people that have the blue undertone mm -hmm. their jewelry is diamonds silver and platinum mm -hmm. and springs and autumns they're on the gold side they're jewelry is gold and autumns are brushed gold to make it more soft hmm. see this would be spring clear and bright this is autumn brushed gold ah. you see how that's spring. softened spring okay brushed gold right mm, yeah so Great. it's like more muted yes okay. and soft it right. looks better on you diamonds diamonds <laughs> Diamonds. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a matter of yellow or blue. Diamonds, pewter, and silver have blue undertones, and gold undertones would be spring and, and autumn. So that's yellow undertone? Yes, yellow or gold. Okay. Because I have a feeling, I just have a feeling that that works with your eye better than the gold because i it's think so you are silver i'm going to start with gold okay okay i don't hate it yeah but my eye but the eye is not popping yeah look for the eye look look for the circle under the eye mm. and uh and the line here mm. and I have a feeling that your hair is going to get blacker when you have silver and diamonds on uh, supporting you. I love diamonds, though. Exactly. <laughs> just we're just going to play here, okay. okay? I think you better take the earrings off. Okay, yeah. Let me do that. And I think your eye is strengthened with it. Yeah, I see it. I'm and, more radiant. And look at the mouth. Look at the color in the mouth. Yeah. Do you have lipstick on? I have um like a tinted chapstick. Okay. I want you to look and see what happens when we put the gold on. What happens with the... Yeah, I don't look as healthy. This is trying to make it work, but mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't... See... There's a highlight there, but we're getting better highlights. With the silver, yeah. Everything is trying to, yeah. with, with this. We do, it doesn't try with the it's other day, it less. just is. Yeah. There, um, do you see the eye? I see it, I see it in the hair too. Look at the white in the, the eye. When you turn your head like that, we get part of the white. Yeah. The the white in your eye. The difference is so sh so tiny that it, it's too soon to make a 
real yeah. decision on anything that I drape you in. But it'll grow yeah. as we go along and you'll be able to see. But this isn't doing anything. This is doing something. Yeah. Look at the mouth. Looks like I, I see it. <laughs> it looks like I put lipstick on. So the next step is to discover your undertone. How she discovered my undertone was looking at the metals. What metals work best for me? So she had in the video you could see like she had like a go a pure gold um object. She had a brushed gold object and she had like a silver object. So whichever one brings out your eyes more like does it highlight the natural essence of my eyes which is to be piercing and bright pulls out the highlights in your eyes and when i say highlight you know like how in makeup we put highlights on our on our face like we naturally have highlights as well so like which of the metals pulls out or brightens the highlights where it comes out easily so she did that with the um the metal the actual metals and she also did it with the gold fabric and the silver fabric that's the second step and that's the step that you know you saw just now is that she's testing to see um what my undertone is and they do that by testing gold and silver against your skin your skin and seeing how your skin and your eyes and even your teeth how it reacts to those metals i was disappointed at first when she told me that you know gold wasn't for me like not that i can't wear gold but i don't look my best in gold you know i'm a bougie girl i like niceness i love luxury and gold is you know like a high color caliber metal so i always go for gold but i look best in silver but a great thing is if silver is your best color i mean your best metal guess what else is your best metal diamonds honey and i was so happy about it i'm like you know what okay fine maybe gold is not my best color and i still wear gold by the way i was made for diamonds honey you don't have to tell me twice honey <laughs> if i just tell you like i think you're winter yes i think you're winter yeah and you don't need to go any further but if i don't give you the information to buy why about why you're not that or you're not this and the whole thing, then you understand where you stand. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. If you're a winter, <laughs> those are gorgeous, my dear. <laughs> Can you see how good those are? <laughs> really? Okay. Now we're going to mute it and soften it for summer. Okay. She has blue undertones too, but her eye is softer. You, you have the brightest eye. And the deepest blue undertones with this. Okay. Okay? Now we'll go to summer. We'll mute it and soften it. Mm. Now, do you see how they, that just brought you down? Down. Eh? Yeah. Down. Okay. <laughs> Way down. Okay, now I'm going to go to spring. <laughs> Gold, me. Okay? Mm. Same, just like winter, I'm clear and bright. My colors have to be clear, clear and bright to pop the eye. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go to spring. All right. Mm. Now, do you see? That looks gaudy. Yeah. That looks gaudy, and gaudy is sort of on the cheap side. Yeah. You know? Okay. And now we're going to go to the autumn, which okay. is what you think. What more. I thought I was, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to add more gold or yellow to it, and we're going to muddy it up a little bit more. Okay. And that's not bad. Mm -hmm. But winter one. But th th that's not bad at all. Yeah. But it's it's pulling it's pulling you down. Yeah. So the best way to show that to you is to show you what a winter looks like. Now. The most important thing, this is all going to the eye. Yeah. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. The other one is like, oh, she's got nice brown skin. Yeah. Now, oh, she's, she's, um, her, her, her eye is sort of brown. And her hair is kind of, here your hair is black. Yeah. Your eyes are dark. Yeah. You see how you came down? Lost myself. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. If I just this show is so up powerful. And just show you what um 
then this isn't bad. You mm -hmm. could pull this in. Mm -hmm. But the strength of your eye is demanding this. Yeah. Because this makes everything strong with you. Watch. This is nice. Mm -hmm. That's smashing. Smashing. Are you going right to the eye? I Can went you... straight to the eye. Yeah. I really did. <laughs> okay. And then the step was to test the seasons against my skin tone. So that's the autumn, spring, summer, winter. And then each seasons have their own group of colors. And so do that case around like my neck. He said she puts it around my neck. So that like one cape would be the winter cape and that have like the winter colors, like a group of winter colors. And the same for autumn, summer and spring. And she just tests the cape around my neck and just to see which one I look more vibrant in. Which one brings up my highlights more? Which one makes my eyeballs look more white? Which one makes my, my hair more black, more shiny? Because that's what my hair is. If my hair was brown or reddish brown, which which one would bring out the browns and the reds in my hair for me to look like my pure autumn self, if I was autumn? So she was looking for all of those stuff when she was testing which season I belong to. And it was clear that I was a winter. The autumn, no, I was close to autumn. Like autumn was the second best for me, but it didn't beat winter. Because remember, the goal is to look smashing. The goal is to look radiant. The goal is to look effortlessly beautiful, effortlessly shining. And like, oh my God, like who is that type of vibe? You know, that's the goal. That's the whole purpose of knowing your best colors. Yeah. Well, there's no, you are a winter. You are a winter. I'm a winter. Okay. <laughs> now, a pure winter, you can only wear diamonds. Diamonds. So, I like so, diamonds. Okay, so. okay. Diamonds are very good. After she did the season capes, so it's just four capes, you know. After that, she went through all the colors. So she had like, and this got cut off because like I said, I didn't have space on my phone. So she went through like all the colors of all the seasons because even though I'm a winter, it could be a spring color that looks good for me. So, you know, they do try their best to not like just keep it in a box because the truth is that you know, we are all different. Like, we all can't just be grouped into 12 boxes or four boxes or 20 boxes or even 100 boxes there will always be variances and so they do do that part where they test all the colors against you so even if it's a summer color like say it's a it shouldn't look good on me but it just do then you're right that color is for me i can wear that color and that's the you see me like writing on that same packet so, so this is part of the thing i'm a cool winter and it said three colors added so this packet is winter colors these are the colors that suits me so you don't even see any orange and then after going through all the colors so so these colors that i wrote at the bottom dusty rose orchid turquoise like these aren't from the winter palette but they did look good on me so i wrote it down and rated it so yeah we went through each color and rated each of them so say pure white is a three, of course, because that's a clear color. Soft white is a two. Soft white is more of like for warm undertones. So even that, like there's different whites for the different seasons. There's different blacks. There's different neutrals for each season. For example, black would be too harsh in the spring. So their black would be like a navy blue or a charcoal. You know what I mean? Like that would be their best black. And like my best white is a pure white. The best white for somebody with a warm undertone is like an ivory. You know what I mean? Because it has a, a hint of yellow to it. This is a power of color. So even if you're just going to the supermarket and you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans, you wear a t-shirt in a color that's best for you. If, with the jewelry, either a silver or a gold, that's best for you. And boom, you look good. You just look good. You look good every day. It is possible to look good every day. And one of the ways to do that is to wear colors that are best for you. Any questions you have, leave it in the comments and I will answer it as best as I can. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And, you know, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm, I'm very pleased with my session with Janine. And I've learned that I'm actually a winter when I thought I was an autumn. So now I'll be making better choices when I shop.
and I'll be looking, was it spectacular? What's the word you told me earlier today? Yeah. That your teacher told you? What was it again? Smashing. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to look smashing. Yes. <laughs> She's smashing. Yes. So. Okay. Thank you, Tiffany. <laughs> thank you, Janine. I really had a good time. She knows her stuff. She knows her stuff, and you learn a lot oh, about thank colors. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.